I'm in pace 1086. Uh, page 8, and we're going to talk about subtraction. And I'm borrowing a student's pace, and look what he did. You've never done that to your paces, have you? He added a beard and mustache to Pudge Meekway. All right. <clears throat> That's a demerit. Here we go. Talking about subtraction, and if you uh, read what Pudge is explaining there at the top of page 8, he's saying that um, when we subtract, we are going to, to solve it, we're going to subtra uh, change subtraction to addition, and then we change the second number. Now, he, they call it the subtrahend. I don't even, as a math teacher, always remember to call it the subtrahend, mainly because my students don't remember that it's called the subtrahend. So I always call it the second number. <laughs> So when we're subtracting with signed numbers, here's the trick. There's two steps. You change subtraction to addition and, don't forget the and, change the second number to its opposite. All right? Then you think about the addition rules. Sometimes you just add and keep the common sign. Other times we subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. I'm going to change this first one here to addition and change the second number to its opposite. So I have negative 8 plus negative 5, which is da, 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 negative 13. We add and keep the common sign. Negative 12 minus negative 7, change subtraction to addition and change the second number to its opposite. Aha, now I have positive 7 added to negative 12. I have to think about the rule for adding when the signs are different. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. So I get negative 5. Okay, you follow that? Let's try this one, 13 minus 20. The rule is the same, so change subtraction to addition and change the second number to its opposite. Ah, now I need to subtract the smaller from the larger. So 20 minus 13 is 7. Keep the sign of the larger, so I get negative 7. This works as well, though, for big numbers. And on the next page, they're going to have a bunch of two- and three-digit numbers, and we still apply the same rule even if they give us fractions or decimals, all right? You know how to do those. It's the same rule. Let's, do it, let's try it here. So negative 675 subtract negative 325. So we change subtraction to addition and change the second number to its opposite. And now we subtract the smaller from the larger and get 350 and keep the sign of the larger. All right? It's not as complicated as it looks initially, and this is very, very, very important that you understand this and nail this. Memorize these rules, because as we continue through this level of math and the next several levels of math, these rules for operations with signed numbers are going to become very, very, very important. You're going to use them a lot. So let's rehearse real quick. Adding when the signs are the same, add and keep the common sign. Adding when the signs are different, subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. And change subtraction to addition. And don't forget the second part. And change the second number to its opposite. Okay? Keep those three rules in mind for now, and it'll be easy. I don't think I'm going to talk about the rule for multiplying and dividing. It is so easy. If you read it, you'll get it.